to other news now and a major development today involving the controversial living expenses claimed by Senator Mike Duffy. As you heard first here on Global National, Duffy backtracked on his promise to pay back the money. But today he said he's, in fact, already paid it back. We get the exclusive details tonight once again from Mike LeCouture. Mike? Well, Donna, two days ago, Senator Duffy wouldn't say whether or not he had repaid his living expenses, as promised. Yesterday, he said he would, but only if the external audit said that he should repay them. Then today, just after 5 o'clock Eastern, he sent out a press release saying he already cut a check for $90,000 back in March. This caps off two days of flip-flops and denials that exploded in Parliament today. I just wanted to see if you wanted to clarify uh, any of the comments from yesterday. A day after admitting to Global News he had not repaid more than $90,000 in housing expenses, Mike Duffy remained in the hot seat. Two months ago, Mike Duffy, the Prime Minister's hand-picked senator from <clears throat> Canada, promised Canadians that he would pay back the money and end his uh, rent and address housing scheme. But he's broken that promise. I don't know what uh, the Honourable Member is referring to in terms of Senator Duffy. I don't believe he made those comments. In really fact, he did make those uh, comments in a TV interview back on February 22nd. Turn the page to put all of this behind us. We are going to voluntarily pay back my living expenses related to the house we have in Ottawa. The 42000 approximately? Whatever it is. I, I find it really surprising that uh, the House leader, who's you know almost the right hand of the Prime Minister, is saying he's not aware that Mr. Duffy is uh, refusing to pay back the money that he promised Canadians. Yesterday, Duffy told Global News he was waiting for the external auditor's report before making his next move. We haven't heard from Deloitte. But uh, I said I'm a man of my word, and if repayment is required, it'll be repaid. Now those comments were a surprise in Duffy's home province of Prince Edward Island, where some residents had harsh words. If you say you're going to do something, then you reverse it. What are the repercussions? His reputation is already being taken into question. Um, this probably isn't helping things, especially with the flip-flopping back and forth. Well, I am a bit surprised because he said he was going to pay it back. Well, as we mentioned, Duffy claims the amount was paid back in March. But if that's true, then why did the Senate Committee of Internal Economy wait until this evening to send out a press release confirming that the payment had been made? And why didn't he just answer the question when we first asked him back on Wednesday? Donna? Very curious. Mike LeCouture in Ottawa, thank you.